Hi everyone, this is Melissa from the admissions team here at the Nicholas School, working with our master's students in environmental management and forestry. And today we're talking about prerequisites. So one of the more common questions um, that we get as the admissions team when we're working with prospective students is how do we know which prerequisites we need and what do we do if we may not have all of them? And there are a couple of different places to find this information. When you are on our website of nicholas.duke.edu, when you get into the academic section and you click onto the Master of Environmental Management and you click into each of those program area sections, there will be information on prerequisites for each program area. Within the admissions section in our FAQs, you'll also find a question about prerequisite coursework that will link to our statement of prerequisite coursework. Across the board, for all of our Masters of Environmental Management and Masters of Forestry students, our students need one semester each of calculus and statistics at the college level. If you have AP or IB or other credit by exam that you received and that is notated on your college transcript or it can be notated through a letter from your registrar designating that you did in fact receive credit for a college level course based on that exam credit, we can use that for prereqs. And then with other program areas, depending on your program area, you may have additional prereqs that are required. So for example, our business and environment, energy and environment, coastal environmental management, and environmental economics and policy program areas, as well as our master of forestry students are all required to have microeconomics in addition to calculus and statistics. And that microeconomics prerequisite is something that is required so that you can move into the natural resource economic sequence that our students are taking as part of that program. And they're often taking it in the first term that they're with us here in Durham. And we also see that students from other concentrations like water resources management, ecosystem science and conservation often take that microeconomics and have that econ sequence as well. And so if you um, had an econ class at the undergrad level, uh, if it was environmental economics, it's probably not quite what we're looking for. We're really looking for that pure micro experience. Um, if your general economics course was more than half micro, that could be a possibility, uh, but we're looking for as, as close to um, kind of that pure micro experience as possible. Same thing for the ecology coursework that we need for ecosystem science and conservation, as well as for forestry, and that's strongly recommended for ecotoxicology and environmental health. Uh, we really want to be able to see that you already have that foundation um, and that you'll be ready to move into uh, your work. The prerequisites are really more about preparation for the graduate work that you will do with us rather than about an admission screening tool. So you can apply and be admitted and enroll missing one or more prerequisites, but we strongly recommend that you have them done before you start the program. You can start with a maximum of one missing prerequisite, but we strongly recommend that you have them done before you start the program. And so there are a couple of different options for that. If you are still in undergrad, you can, if you're able to squeeze it in on your schedule before you graduate, that's great. Otherwise, there are additional options like taking it at any two or four year accredited college or university, uh, whether that's online or not. And then we also have some options through Coursera that are outlined on our statement of prerequisite coursework on our website. Um, we're gonna review your prerequisites as part of our application review. Our registrar also does an audit on all admitted students and reaches out with feedback on the coursework that you have, as well as the coursework you still need, and also provides you know, tips and tricks on reviewing for uh, the calculus and statistics diagnostic exams that our students take before orientation. Because um, if you got AP credit for calculus, however many years ago, it may have been a while since you had done that content. Um, so it's always good to get that review in um, 
but spend some time with that statement of prerequisite coursework, read through it. Um, and then if you have any questions, please reach out to us and we're happy to help. Thank you.